one of the most frequently asked questions to me by people is i always keep getting bad dreams horrible dreams horrific things i see when i sleep and i see nightmares and i see people dying sometimes i see that i am running somewhere i see that somebody is running after me somebody is running behind to kill me i am fighting with somebody i am fighting with animals i am fighting with snakes yes 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 so why does this happen and what can we do to mitigate this i won't call it uh, what to do to get rid of this because these are not things which we can just get rid of like some trash can or some garbage dump which we have in our home but these things need to be dealt at a subtle level all right because this problem is not gross this is a subtle problem so we must address this issue at a deeper level just by making some superficial changes in our life uh, it's not necessary that these things get resolved okay so if you know somebody who is uh, suffering from this problem or even if you feel that you don't see nightmares uh, but your sleep is not kind of very good okay uh, if you feel that you need to improve or you can sleep better or if you feel that you don't wake up feeling refreshed in the morning then you could watch this video or forward this to somebody who has these issues okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him hopefully after the nightmare <laughs> and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could always go down to the description section where you'll find the link to my website for consultations all right so what happens is according to science and according to different uh, systems of the vedas like ayurveda especially there are many different levels of sleep about which i will not discuss here much in detail but when we say that somebody is sleeping it can mean many things it can mean that that person is just not aware that he or she is living all right that's what happens when we are asleep we are not aware that we are living we feel as if we are dead for some time but within that there are many levels where we can go so basically to feel rejuvenated we must go to the deep, deep sleep all right so there are many words in sanskrit like for example sushupti is a word which is used in this context so cutting the long story short it is not just enough to fall asleep yes should i repeat it is not just enough to just feel as if we are dead that's what happens when you are sleeping no that's not enough we have to go into the deeper level yes they say the third level of sleep or at least the second level now when that doesn't does not happen then what happens is uh, it's like saying we are just falling in the bed but we are not actually sleeping because if we are not sleeping then what happens is we cannot rejuvenate our body cannot function properly during the day you will feel sleepy you will feel lethargic you will feel bored you will feel as if things are not good even if things are fine you will have tremendous mood swings okay one of the symptoms of bad sleep tremendous mood swings and you will be irritated for no good reason or no bad reason without any reason suddenly your mood will be just ah, i don't like this i don't like him i don't like her get out get lost go to hell everybody <laughs> raise your hands if you feel like that sometimes all right so this happens with many people well let's understand why this happens see when we are talking of sleep we are talking of things at a subtle level so it is more of a function of the mind rather than the body okay so when we are saying that our sleep is not proper it is like saying that imagine there's a car which which is going very fast and suddenly there's a brake no and then what happens does the car stop 
no it doesn't stop even if it is a fancy car like you know mercedes benz or the rolls royce even then for some inches some millimeters some centimeters it will still keep going if it's going at you know 100 200 km per hour if you just press the brake it doesn't stop now of course depending on the power of that car it may stop earlier or it may stop after a few seconds yes depending on the luxury or depending on the tenacity or depending on features of the car but this is the similar situation which we face which means that when somebody says that somebody cannot get sleep it is like saying that the car is still moving now the body is not moving the body is sleeping <laughs> the body is senseless but why is it that the car is still moving because it means that we are going at a very high pace which means that our life or normal life is not so normal what does it mean it does not mean that i am calling you as a mad person or you are a bad person it doesn't mean you should go to a mental hospital i am not saying that what i am saying is that we have to cultivate the art of taking things as they come yes if we hype things too much then what happens everything in our life seems like a hype then what happens is when we are sleeping then the mind is still searching for some hype yes some hyper activity but when we are sleeping what happens the body does not provide that platform for the mind to act but the mind is so hyper so hyper is going 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 that it takes the soul to different zones different realms different areas of consciousness and then we are wondering in the morning what's happening i didn't sleep i was here i was there i was everywhere except maybe in my sleep <laughs> yes in fact what happens sometimes it's so extreme that many people they they see something in the dream and they think they they are so sure of what they have seen in the dream that they think that that incident actually happened in reality and i'm talking of sane people here normal people sometimes so so suppose i have seen somebody in my dream one of my friend okay and then what happens is i i feel as if i actually met him and then i call him and i ask him oh yeah we had a great time and this person was like what <laughs> Uh, we had a great time uh, well yes we have had uh, great times in the past but when did we meet recently i don't think so and then you are like oh my god yes we we never met okay so the most important reason why we see bad dreams is that our life is not primarily in the mode of goodness sattva guna it is in rajogun and tamogun all right because what is happening is it's like the fumes are coming out okay so if we have activities throughout the day or at least certain activities in the day where we are allowing negativity into our consciousness then the dreams will be terrible all right and on the other hand if we are filling our activities throughout our day by good activities yes then we will see that our sleep has drastically improved and we also get sleep as soon as we sleep all right in a short time that is another symptom that you do not get sleep very fast very easily all right and if you have to take pills or anything of that sort medication then it's a very extreme case of insomnia of course so the solution is that we should cultivate a life of mode of goodness we should try to sleep early and get up early preferably before uh, the brahma muhurat which is depending on your place around at 4 o'clock i would say bit before or bit later that's the best time to get up at 4 and recently one person messaged me that after seeing my videos he has started getting up at 5 so congratulations and i hope that you will make it to 4 <laughs> if you can make it to 5 you can also make it to 4 all right so in the next 2 3 months you can try and you can message me back so 
after getting up we should uh, ensure that we do not stay in tamaguna which means when we are sleeping all the nine holes of our body they are secreting dirty substances you know all these holes so it is essential that we go and take a bath immediately without fail without delay and after we take bath then it is highly recommended that we chant mantras especially in the morning vishnu mantras and we should read uh, scriptures like the or we can read some stotrams like vishnu sastra naam all right that that is very important i have seen and that's very potent i see anybody who is uh, reading vishnu sastra naam in the morning yes their whole day goes positively and also i have seen that uh, especially people who uh, recite mantras in the morning their mind is much more calm and you know they are much more productive during the day so and you can also listen to bhajans in the morning because if you are listening to some uh, movie song yes then what can happen is because generally the uh, movie songs of this material world they are like they are nothing but useless rubbish garbage of this world yes the same old stuff getting repeated again and again somebody is enjoying sexually with somebody they will make a song on that so imagine these filthy disgusting things which we hear in the morning and how will our day go our entire day is ruined all right so let us not ruin our day by hearing the useless rubbish garbage stuff of this world or by seeing the television in the morning all right news especially oh my god who killed whom where there was a bomb blast how many people died oh my god you feel as if the world is a terrible place i will die if i stay here all right so please do not uh, ruin your day by ruining this morning all right the morning time is very important so do important things in the morning especially the activities which are in satva guna and the other thing is the diet also has to be good all right so if if somebody is eating non vegetarian food that is primarily in rajoguna and tamoguna and including onion and garlic so it is best if we can avoid all this completely yes onion and garlic also and um, it is best if we can uh, shift to a purely satvic diet all right that will do wonders for us you will feel that you are, you have more energy you will feel as if you have good focus in life all right because uh, non veg meat that is produced by harming by slaughtering animals all right so anything which we eat which has pain then that cannot be good for us i am not going to science here that oh some scientists say this, you know meat is bad or whatever scientists say whatever religion says forget science forget religion use some basic common sense that how can we eat somebody by killing somebody right we we will not like if somebody tries to kill us then common sense basic basic bare minimum common sense nothing fancy here no religious shloka no rama and no mahabharat here it's not required some basic common sense is required all right <laughs> so no arguments no discussions no no scientific proof proofs or no religious declarations nothing is required here just some common sense and then the body the animal body that also produces lot of harmful substances when they know that they are going to be slaughtered you know especially cortisol is produced which is a stress hormone although let's not go to it we'll talk of it some other time but uh, abstaining from meat is essential for our spiritual progress all right now and now spiritual progress is very far we are talking of sleep here and apart from that during the day we have to ensure that we do not waste time gossiping about who is having an affair with whom yes who is going to win the elections which political party is better in india is it the congress or is it the bjp yes so congress and bjp will keep fighting and they will keep winning elections but you will lose the relationship with the person yes i have seen people fighting over people in politics and then what happens after elections one person goes and joins the other party and these two people who are fighting for these two politicians they are wondering what did just happen you know why were we so foolishly arguing about who is better yes 
so these are the things that we need to avoid and we should work properly during the day by work i don't mean uh, just going out to your office and doing your career work it can be that it can be job it can be business it can be anything if you are a housewife then the work of your home or if you are a motivational speaker going out motivating people anybody you are a sportsman you are a cook doesn't matter whatever you are doing do it in a way that after you reach home you are completely tired not so tired that you go to sleep but tired enough that you feel that all my energy is exhausted okay it's very essential and then in the evening just before sleeping we can take some plain milk that will be good okay milk with saffron that will definitely help us and just before we sleep we can uh, hear uh, stories from the rama and the mahabharat in india uh, when children used to be small there were these bedtime stories and the grandmothers and the grandparents the grandfather they would uh, enlighten the grandchildren about the stories from rama and mahabharat and shrimad bhagavatam especially and by that there because see uh, just before you sleep what goes into your mind can have a adverse effect right a very strong impact on your dreams on your sleep so if you sleep by uh, going around facebook you know going like this new mobile if you are uh, going and uh, checking out photos of the opposite sex in instagram or if you are uh, going on watching pornography yes nudity or if you are watching things like crime patrol or game of thrones or you know big boss these kind of things if you are watching before you sleep then all the poison all the negativity that will go and then these are the things which uh, will keep coming in your sleep all right so now sometimes what happens is uh, many people tell that i i have a very satvik lifestyle even then i face all these things so why does it happen well you really need to check if your life is satvik okay because i know many people who have satvik lifestyles they tell me that they always see good things in dreams okay but if you feel that your life is very satvik and still these things are happening then accept it as a part of your karma and do the remedies which i have given that will definitely benefit you and apart from that uh, just before sleeping uh, we can also uh listen to bhajans as we do in the mornings that will also gradually uh improve our sleep okay we can listen to uh stotrams of narsingh dev you know namaste narasimhaya prahladalada daine these are the stotrams we can listen this is a very powerful aarti of lord narsingh dev which is there i also have a video on narsi marti you can check it in my channel yes or you can chant this you know ugram veeram mahavishnum jalantam sarvato mukham narsingham bhishanam bhadram mrityor mrityor namami ham this you can sing or you can also sing this mantra you know shri ram jay ram jay jay ram shri ram jay ram jay jay ram just like hanuman ji had crossed the entire ocean and gone to lanka and he found out where sita devi was so similarly this mantra will definitely help us to get rid of all the garbage because dreams is a reflection of the garbage that we have i mean bad dreams it's a reflection of all the garbage all the filthy disgusting things that we keep doing during the day all right so you can try it try this for one week and you can see your life will change and i know i will get mails where people will tell me that yes this has happened so now i will eagerly desperately totally wait for <laughs> those mails to come uh, about why this happens uh, about how their life has changed regard after doing all this all right so that is it i wanted to say and uh, i hope this helps you and uh, if you know somebody who is suffering from these issues then you can um send them this video okay and that that will be all from my side so if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe click the thumbs up if you like this and if you want a consultation from me then 
you could go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him see you bye bye Thank you.